and David Taub here from nextlevelguitar.com. How you doing? Hope all is well. And uh, we've been getting tons and tons of emails about um, guitar players not fully understanding the concept of uh, different tunings and whatnot. So I thought we'd spend some time talking a little bit about E flat tuning, which is a real, real common one. Many of you probably already know that one. If you know it and you know what it's all about, this module lesson, module slash lesson, probably is not for you. But um, for the people who don't, Grab a chair, listen up, right? Lots of guitar players and lots of bands use E flat tuning. It's a very, very common tuning for many reasons and, and uh, we're gonna talk about that. But basically all it is, is you're tuning each string of your guitar down one half step, okay? Or, or one fret. Remember in guitar lingo, a whole step is equal to two frets, okay? Or you might've heard that called a whole tone and a half a step is equal to one fret. You might have heard that called a semitone. So you're taking all the strings, E, A, D, G, B, E, your open strings, and you're tuning them down a half a step or making them a half step flat. So now the strings low to high are E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. And a lot of tuners have flat buttons on those, um, and I'll explain that um, as far as how you can get your guitars in E flat tuning if you're not ready yet to tune by ear um, because if you could tune by ear you could just if you're in standard tuning right this guitar by the way I dropped down the E flat when I was playing the intro before just so you could hear what it sounds like but you can always finger uh, an E flat note like on the you know whatever first fret of the D string play that E flat tune your low E string to that E flat then you have your low E now an E flat and then tune all your other strings to the low E to the, to the E flat and then you're in E flat tuning, right? But most people are probably using tuners if they haven't developed their ear to that point. You certainly want to develop your ear. That's one of the most important things I think as a musician. So keep working if you are, are a site member on those, on those ear training lessons. Um, the reasons why bands and guitarists tune their guitars down a half step is, is several reasons. One being it sounds a little heavier. Remember, being a half step lower you're loosening the strings, so there's a little more slack in the strings, so it sounds a little heavier. You know, that's why a lot of these real heavy, heavy bands, they tune down even lower. Drop D, drop C, some even tune down, you know, A sharp, way, way down, because it sounds heavier. So E flat sounds a little heavier. E flat tuning also, a lot of guitar players, um, especially if you're using really thick strings, like I use 11 gauge strings, 11 to 56 or 52 on the top, on the low E. Um, so actually tuning down the e, e flat makes it a little easier to bend the strings and to work the notes and to get more tone out. Remember, I'm, I'm a firm believer that tone is in your hands and the stronger your hands are, the more dexterous, the more you can work those notes, the more tone you're going to get. Just my opinion. Tone is in your hands and in your heart, right? So it sounds heavier. It's a little easier to bend the strings. And probably most importantly is a lot of times you want to tune down the E flat because it gives the singer that half step of relief. So instead of everything he's singing now, or she's singing, is a half step lower, you don't have to hit, and that half step makes a big difference, um, a real big difference. So um, you don't have to work your vocals as much as far as you'll have that half step, um, uh, you'll be a half step lower. Um, so it makes it easier from a vocal standpoint too. And if you never tried this and you're a singer, try it. Try, you know, tuning, or if you're like an acoustic singer song or something, try tuning to E flat and you'll notice that it's, it's, it'll be a little bit um, easier to hit some of the, the, the higher registers, okay? So those are mainly the reasons why it's done and some bands exclusively use E flat tuning like Van, most Van Halen uh, uh, recordings are in E flat, most of them, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, the band Live, I mean it goes on and on and on. Uh, uh, so many bands use it at one time or another in their careers or exclusively, it's, it's pretty cool so you should check it out. Now for those of you who, who don't or aren't able to tune by ear as yet, if you have your tuners, most of them will have a, a button on them that says flat, okay? For instance, this is a Korg GA30 guitar tuner. It's a basic tuner that works really well. It's accurate and it's about 15 bucks, 12 bucks if you can get it on sale at Guitar Center, right? Or wherever, your local music store. Visit the mom and pop stores. Um, so what you would do is you would turn it on, okay, and then hit the flat button once and a small little flat sign comes up next to where the notes will be reading out. So it'll say like if you hit your guitar, it'll say E and then it'll be a flat, E flat. So one flat 
then tune your guitar just normally. As long as a flat sign is on there, that's meaning every open string, as you tune it, you could tune it down a half step, and it makes it really, really easy. And most tuners will have that flat. If it's a chromatic tuner or another type of tuner where it will pick it up automatically, I was just taking all the flat signs off, make sure that, you know, obviously if you want to go back to standard tuning and there's one flat symbol there, you got to erase that. Just keep hitting that flat sign until all the flats go, go away. Um, but if you have another type of tuner, a lot of times if you hit that will pick up the note without have to manually hitting a flat like a chromatic tuner, you just hit it and you just drop the string down. So you would tune that low E on your tuner to the meter reads down to E flat or some of the tuners might actually read it as D number sign. Number sign means sharp or D sharp. Okay, same basic thing. So um, and then what you could do is when you get all your strings tuned, make sure because you're going to be taking a lot of tension out of the neck dropping everyone down a half step, you might have to go back and do it two, three times before they all stay in tune, especially if you use thick strings. Get them all in tune and then you're ready to go. You know, and it's pretty critical, especially if you're trying to like figure out a song um, by ear or figure out a song uh, off a CD or off your iPod. And if you're in, if it's an E flat tuning and you're in standard tuning, um, it's a lot more difficult, especially if they're playing chords with, you know, open notes in them. So you always want to try to, when you're um, figuring out songs or trying to learn songs, the biggest thing is get in pitch with the CD, whatever, whatever. If it's standard tuning, if it's E-fat tuning, if it's drop D, whatever, um, that's a critical, critical thing. It's going to just make it easier for you. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time discerning the notes and whatnot, okay? So anyway, that's just a little about E-flat tuning, why bands use it. If you want to know more about tunings and different tunings, go to our website, nextlevelguitar.com. Uh, we have uh, over we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lessons for beginners, intermediates, and advanced players. Written lessons. We have you know hundreds and hundreds of video lessons, written lessons, jam tracks, tons of good stuff. So check that out. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube videos, and we'll keep bringing them. And uh, we will see you in the next lesson. Take care and rock on.